Hello everybody and welcome back to Studs Up and today we're taking a look at set number 60263 Ocean Mini Submarine. This is a 4 plus set from the new Lego City um, kind of Ocean Explorers line. Let's take a look at the build. Alrighty then, so the two builds you get in the set are the Mini Sub. And you also get this little uh, aquatic uh, treasure chest and um, leafy vine piece here. Let's take a look at the uh, submersible submarine here. Uh, it does have this massive um, windscreen piece that can open and close on some uh, ratchet joints there. And uh, on the inside here, we have one seat for the driver. No control panel, no control sticker, no nothing there. On the back here, we have two propellers, which each spin. On the side, we have multiple joints and then turning uh, for each arm. And then it does have a um, grabber piece that can grab onto bars and other LEGO accessories. Uh, the bulk build of this is one big piece. As we can see, as you can see here, this is part of it. This is part of it. And it's just one big piece. And then uh, we have a nice cab there, which you would probably not need to remove. Uh, the little side build here includes some uh, leaf piece, uh, vine piece, kind of underwater in this very nice light uh, green here. Uh, you get a nice treasure chest with, uh, the set includes four gems, two light blue and two uh, clear or white, along with, you know, a base plate there. All right, let's take a look at the figs. All right, and so the first thing we're going to take a look at here is the hammerhead shark included in this set here. This thing looks really cool, and this is kind of the main draw point for this set, and uh, it it does look very, very cool. It is a light uh, bluish-gray uh, color here, and it does use the existing shark body, but with this nice new, I think, molded head here which does have eye printing and that just snaps in like that and looks really good. It does have attachment studs, lots of studs on the bottom here to attach it to whatever you need to. And there is a little um, bar connection point in the back there. So if you want to make it like swimming around or something, you know, you can attach it to like a stand or something. So that's cool. All right, let's take a look at the next fig. The only minifigure included in this set is a diver. Um, aquatic researcher dude here he does not have any scoop of headgear he has a baseball cap along with some very nice torso printing here with like a turtleneck underneath there along with a bunch of straps and harnesses very useful torso along with some like uh, almost jumpsuit uh looking pants like it's a uh, full uh, jumpsuit he's got on there on the back we do have some nice rear strap printing there and that looks looks very very good um, I think this is a very useful figure to use even out of the undersea world as a construction worker or something like that. He does have a very basic uh, face there. No rear face printing it would show. And uh, yeah, very, very basic face print there. All right, let's take a look at the full set all together. All right then, so this is what you're walking away with. Uh, you also get this little Legoland, Legoland Discovery Center or resort kind of thing just a little pamphlet there uh you do get the instruction manual here which since this is teaming up with the um national geographic in the back they show you some real life kind of examples of stuff here so you got the hammerhead shark there and then that so that's that's kind of cool there is no extra um like sets from the wave shown in this uh, which is a little dis disappointing there uh the box here looks good it's got the supported supporting national geographic explorers in the corner there which is cool the back of the box has nothing new just kind of a brief little thing there uh, you can see the big piece that's used there so super easy to build and this is a four plus set overall opinion on this set i think it looks good i think it works good and i think it has a decent amount of playability here no really gripes with it a few things wish the uh, control cockpit area maybe had a printed piece here for like a control panel i think that would have added a lot to it 
um, maybe like levers on the side there. I think that would have been very, very cool. Um, other than that, there's not too much I uh, really have to say about this. I think it's very self-explanatory on what it is, and I think it does its job very, very well. Of course, the big drawing point for this set is the Hammerhead Shark, and I think it's a perfect way. This set retails for $10 in the United States. I think it's very worth picking up if you are interested in it. Um, I do think this is a very easy 4-plus set to build, super easy, and uh, good for any little kids. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this content, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button and comment down below what you are interested in seeing reviewed next. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Studs out!